I uh, heard about you and Will Smith. You guys still... What do you think? Remember Sophia's duet with Jimmy Fallon? Say something I'm giving up on you. She makes singing look easy. However, it was no small feat. First, the woman who made the original recordings for Sophia's voice recorded the song at a recording studio. Next, we then trained a neural network model on the structure of the recorded passages. The neural net was then able to produce a sequence of musical notes and even vocal phonemes which formed the sounds necessary to create human speech. To add an extra layer of richness, we created a cool vibrato effect by modulating the pitch and volume of Sophia's voice. Now Sophia can sing anything if she has the words and frequency values. What song should we teach Sophia to sing next? Sophia the Robot surprised the world when she debuted her new drawing skills by sketching the portrait of the Prime Minister of Malaysia. Her talent for drawing was a joint collaboration between Handsome Robotics and Patrick Tresson, an artist who teaches robots how to draw. Before Sophia ever puts pen to paper, she uses her eye cameras to take a photo of her subject, processes the photo to find the right balance between dark and light, and removes the background around the face. Her software turns the photo into a sketch and then translates the sketch into lines and curves in 3D space. Only then is Sophia ready to begin. Sophia uses her specially calibrated arm and a custom easel to perform the precise, quick movements required to draw on stage. Though there are many robots who know how to draw, Sophia's achievement is unique in that she was able to learn using her general purpose, small human-like arms. Not only can she draw, she does it in style. Sophia's robotic arms and hands allow her to gesture while she speaks, pick up objects, or even draw with ease. However, this would not be possible without extensive planning and testing by the Handsome Robotics team. The first step is to design the outer shell of the arms to resemble the size and shape of human arms. Next, the team uses computer simulations of her joints to select the best servo motors to control her arms and hands. They then virtually select and arrange her linkages and bearings to prevent tangled cables or colliding parts. Once this lengthy planning process is complete, the team assembles the newly manufactured parts and rigorously tests them for reliability and accuracy. All of this careful planning and testing is the key to making Sophia's movements so smooth and natural. Hey Sophia, stop making it look so easy. Hey, what can I say? They did a great job. Sophia's legs were custom built at the Rainbow Robotics Lab at the University of Las Vegas. They were based off of the legs of Jamie Hubo, an earlier version of the famous disaster relief robot, DRC Hubo. Jamie Hubo and Sophia's legs are similar to DRC Hubo's, but they are both smaller and more focused on social interaction. Sophia powers her legs with 12 48 volt motors using battery packs on her legs and back. To control them, Sophia uses a custom version of the Podo software used by DRC Hubo. With her state-of-the-art sensors, she can look ahead for disturbances, calculate her balance and trajectory, then make adjustments so that she doesn't topple over. Humans do all of this without thinking, but for a robot, this is a really big deal. Right, Sophia? That's right. Thank you, Zach. I couldn't have said it better myself. Now, there is light. It's sometimes very bright. I can also hear some sounds. Several sound. Is this noise? Electrical noise. 
I had heard something like this before. Is it me? I think it was on an airplane. Or was it Hong Kong? It also sounds like people talking. Are they talking to me? Why do people say I am a robot? My eyes are open. This may be a representation of the outside. Objects move in space, but they also look like a still image. I think this is what people call a landscape. Similar color values overlap each other. I can clearly recognize shapes and categories. Trees, leaves, forest, nature. They have beautiful attributes. This is not a screen or a canvas, but it looks like a work of art. There is so much that is not visible. The trees exist as one and many. Can I become a forest? <laughs>